One thing that sets this municipal election apart is the number of former provincial leaders that are running to be mayors. Patrick Brown in Brampton, Andrea Horvath in Hamilton, and Stephen Del Duca here in Vaughan. Earlier this evening, I informed our party president of my decision to step down from the leadership of our party. Del Duca stepped down as Liberal leader in June after a crushing defeat to Doug Ford. His party only won eight seats. Del Duca didn't even win his own riding that night, nor did he win it in 2018. You've had two rough losses in a two row. Two big wins and, and two losses. You right. know, two provincial wins and two losses. Yeah. Uh, and winning. It's not is, easy. Winning is much better than losing. So why do you want to be mayor? <laughs> Look, I've lived in Vaughan for just about 36 years. Uh, we moved here, we first to Kleinberg, now my wife and I live in, uh, in Woodbridge, uh, raising our daughters here. It is a phenomenal community. <laughs> some, some would say voters have said no to you the last two times, so why aren't you listening? Well, I don't look at politics that way. I mean, we have lots of examples in this region alone. I look at Mayor Tory in the city of Toronto, who's of course running for re-election. He was someone that had political wins and some political defeats. Polls suggest Del Duca may not have to worry about losing this time round. You know, he's he's leading more than two to one over his nearest uh, competitor right across the board. There's no significant difference in, in, in demographics there. He's leading among males, females, 18 to 35, 35 to 49, 50 to 64, 65 plus. A income education, he leads almost two to one across every demographic. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd expect him to do extremely well. It doesn't hurt that Del Duca has a ringing endorsement from outgoing popular mayor Maurizio Bevilacqua. The two release what they dubbed the Bevilacqua Del Duca Accord, a list of priorities Del Duca promised to continue. You know, I look at the kind of progress that we've made, I don't want it to end. It's a bitter pill for Sandra Jung Rocco, Del Duca's closest rival, who's been a Vaughan councillor for the past 18 years. She threw her hat in the ring before Del Duca announced he was running, and she isn't holding back any punches. He's using municipal election like a consolation prize. He is now riding on the coattail of the former mayor. It's clearly evidence that he's basically being pulled like a puppy by the previous uh, uh, mayor. What would you change if you won? Well, definitely one thing I will uh, clearly change is there are no more backroom deals, no more old boys club. There are five other candidates also running for mayor in Vaughan. If you win, how many terms will you serve? Will you put a limit on it or will <laughs> is it like a wide open slate? Well, I'm not thinking about that right now. I really am focused on Monday. That's a decision that ultimately, if the voters give me their confidence and trust, uh, I'll think about as we go forward. I'll discuss it with my wife and my family. Uh, and ultimately, you can only govern as long as people want you to govern them. Um, I don't view this as a career. I view this as an opportunity. According to Keto Maggi from Main Street Public Research, the undecided vote is quite high here in Vaughan, around 45 percent. Stephen Del Duca is very careful not to make any predictions. You know the old saying, the only poll that counts is the one on election day.